Hi everybody, today I want to show you how to do a bulk create content using Canva and Canva's new Sheets option. So let's jump right in and see how we can do that. So the first thing you want to do is when you log into your Canva account, this is for paid accounts desktop only. So your pro account, your paid account, your team account, etc. There is a new feature that just came out mid-April called Sheet. So this is a fantastic little feature. I think it's wonderful. What you want to do with your sheet is you want to create kind of like an Excel spreadsheet of the content that you want to make in bulk. So first thing you'll do is you'll create your header row. So in this case, I've done content, graphic, link, and call to action. The template I already have has a logo in it, so I'm going to leave my logo in that template. Before you do any of this stuff, you do want to have some kind of a branded template that you can use to import all of these designs and content into. So that's something to think about ahead of time. This is great for things like business cards, social media posts that are evergreen, content like proposals, etc. So I'm actually going to delete this template because I have a new template that I want to work with. So we're going to start with our data, which is the sheets file. I have called it bulk create tip Tuesdays. So I'm going to use tax tips, which the tax tips I got from hello AI. Thank you very much. Um, if you have tax tips that you've used for the past for your firm, you can certainly copy and paste the content over here in your content file. The next step, I'm using a graphic. You could upload your own graphics using the upload feature here on the side, and you can upload your own pictures, or you can simply search for pictures using elements. So my first item here is track every expense. So I'm gonna look for expenses, and I'm gonna click on photos, and I'm gonna scroll down through here to see if there's an expense image that I might wanna use. And when I find it, I simply drag it over here until it highlights in the column. The next thing I want to have is my link for my firm, of course, and a call to action if that's important for your social media posts. If not, maybe you don't have that column. Maybe you have a logo column instead, or I recommend putting the logo in your image template. So I'm actually going to keep my call to action column in here. I'm just not going to use it when I work with my template but I'm gonna keep it there just for, just for in case. So the next step is once you have your data in here, now I have 30 posts that I can create in bulk. So now that I have my data in here, I'm gonna go over to my left navigation bar and I'm going to click on the bulk create option. Now it's over here. I've got it right here on my left sidebar. And what I've noticed is if you don't have, so I've got it right here under bulk create. If you do not have a bulk create option on your left sidebar, you wanna go into your apps and search for bulk create. If you do not have a paid account, you will not see these options. So if you have bulk create and it's on your left sidebar, we're gonna use that. If you, do, if you have a paid account and don't have bulk create, definitely go to your apps and search for it. So now that we have our columns in place and we have all of our images in our spreadsheet, we are going to click on bulk create. First thing it's gonna ask you is give me the data range. You do want to include your column headings. So I'm gonna scroll down until I get to all of my columns. Now I did not choose to add in my call to action column because I'm not going to put it in there. But I am going to click. I do want all the rest of the information. I'm going to click continue. The next step it's going to ask me to do is to choose my template. Here's my template, tax tips template. It's right here. Now my template does have a logo already in it right here. It has a call to action or a link. It has text and it has what my post is about. And it also has an image. So what are we going to do with all of these elements? On your left sidebar, you see these data fields. 
each one of these things is going to connect with something on your page. Sorry, that content doesn't go there. Let's clear that again. So the link goes up there, the content goes down here, and the graphic is here. So our next step is to connect our content. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to, I've chosen my template. I am going to get rid of the picture in the back because I don't want that there anymore. I'm going to click on the text. Now the text may be too big, so I'm gonna drop this down to 32 uh, points and I'm gonna say connect data. The data that I want it to connect to is my content. I'm also going to left justify that. The next item I wanna connect is my URL. I'm gonna click on that button where, where the URL is. I'm gonna say connect data. And I'm gonna click the link. Next, I'm gonna click the box. And I want this to connect to my data. So I'm going to click this and I need to get this to connect to my data. So I'm gonna drop in a picture. I know there was a picture already in there. So I'm gonna take her back out and I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop this picture in. I'm gonna move her to the back. I wanna make sure that that image is in the back. I'm using position and I'm using the layers and I want that in the back. So I can see that my logo's at the top, right here's my logo, here's my image, there's my text, etc. Now I wanna connect my image to my bulk create. So I'm gonna click on that image, bulk create, connect data, that's my graphic. Now, I'm gonna click create 30 designs. Boom, it just created 30 designs. It was less than a second that it did 30 designs. Now, it tells you up here at the top that it created a folder where it put all of the designs. Okay, great, there's a folder for it. But maybe I wanna go take a look at those and see what it created. I can double click on that and I can see the image that it created. So let me see if this is the one. Oh, here it is, here's the one. Not column F, column D. And I can see there's my first one. My logo is a little bit light, so I may need to make that darker. Depends on your brand. And also, I need to move this up because there's a space which is probably in my data field. I'm gonna go back to my bulk create. I go down to the next one. I wanna see this one. My logo's fine here. I can move this one up. Maybe my font's a little bit too big for this template. So I should, that's something I need to note. And I can go back and change my template and do the process again. So it has created 30 designs for me in less than a second. Now, where is this folder that it's talking about? If you go back to your home screen, you'll see all of these items. These are all of the bulk creates that it just did. Now, there is a folder already created with this information. You would go to your projects, and here is your bulk create folder. So this has 30 items in it. You can rename this folder. It doesn't have to be named that. The one challenge I find with this is each image is in a separate item. So instead of it being a list of items, it is individual posts. So I want to make sure that all of these posts are in one stream of something. So I can call this Tax Tips Tuesdays uh, for LinkedIn. 1200 by 1200 so I know what that is. That's the challenge, I don't love that. So what can I do? You can move all of these into one folder but you cannot move them all into one design. So that's the rub, I don't love that. And also it calls it the file by the bulk name. So it doesn't actually say what the image is 
about. So this one is tax times quarterly taxes. So you have to come back in here and do tax tip quarterly taxes. LI 1200 by 1200 or whatever your naming convention is. Once I do that and I go back to my folder, these are in alphabetical order. So uh, it's going to be at the bottom of the list. That's how you make the bulk content using sheets in Canva as well as the bulk create. This is a fantastic tool for business cards, anything that you need to make over and over and over again. Tax Tips Tuesdays, financial planning posts, social media content, video covers, front and back in bumpers, all kinds of things. So have fun with your bulk crate. It's a really simple and easy tool to use. If you have any questions, drop us a note or feel free to comment on the video. Thanks and have a great day.